Let's learn about rounding. Today, we're going to learn how to round to the nearest 10 using a number line. So, what is rounding? Hmm. Rounding is an estimate. It's not the exact number, but a number close to it. Why on earth do we use rounding? It makes working with numbers easier. Imagine that there's 47 cats at your local animal shelter. I'm obsessed with cats, by the way. I could say that there's 47 cats, or I could say there are about 50 cats, approximately 50 cats. The number 50 is much easier to work with than 47, and this especially comes true when we start rounding bigger numbers. Also, when you hear the words estimate, close to, about, approximately those are good words indicating that we're going to have to round all right math besties are you ready to round let's do it okay math besties we have our first example we're going to round the number 23 to the nearest 10 on a number line so the first step i'm going to do is find the boundary numbers i'm going to go ahead and underline my tens place because we're rounding to the nearest 10. so i'm going to ask myself what tens family does 23 live in 20, okay, and then the next tens family is 20, 30. So these are the boundary numbers. Now step two says to find the midpoint. The midpoint is the halfway point between two numbers. So I'm gonna draw a line right here in the middle, boop. So what is the halfway point between 20 and 30? Hmm, 25. Now, how did I know it was 25? Well, what's the halfway point between 0 and 10? It is 5. So when we're looking for a midpoint between two tens, it's always going to end in a 5. All right, now the last step is to compare our number with the midpoint and round. If our number is less than the midpoint, we're going to round down to 20. But if our number is greater than the midpoint or equal to the midpoint, we're going to round up to 30. So let's go ahead and compare. Is two tens and two tens equivalent? Yes. What about three ones and five ones? Is that the same? No, three ones is less than five ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and plot the number 23 here on my number line because it's less than the midpoint. And because it's less than the midpoint, we're gonna round down because 23 is way closer to 20 than it is all the way to 30. So 23 rounded to the nearest 10 is 20. All right, are you ready to do example number two? Let's go. Okay, so for our second example, we have the number 66. So step number one says to find the boundary numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and underline the tens place because once again, we're rounded to the nearest 10. And what tens family does 66 live in? 60, and then the next 10 is 70. All right, so we're done with step one, check. Now step two, find the midpoint. Boom! So what's in the middle between 60 and 70? 65. Remember what I told you about that magic number ending with the five. All right, and step number three, compare and round. We're gonna compare our number with the midpoint and then we're gonna round. All right, is six tenths equal to six tenths? Yes. What about six ones and five ones? Is that equivalent? No, I know that six, ones is greater than five ones. So it's gonna be actually right here on the number line, just one, one, 65, 66. And because it's greater than the midpoint, we're gonna round up to 70. So 66 rounded to the nearest 10 is equal to 70. All right, math besties, are you ready to do some practice with me? Go ahead and grab a paper and a pencil or a whiteboard and let's go. It's now bestie practice time. Feel free to pause the video and work ahead of me or just follow along for more guided practice. All right, go ahead and draw a number line on your paper. Okay, let's round the number 42 to the nearest 10. So the first thing I'm going to do is underline the tens place. In this case, we're underlining the four. And then we're going to establish the boundary numbers. So between what two tens does 42 live in? Between 40 and 50. Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and establish the midpoint, which is the halfway point between 40 and 50 which is 40, 
five. Good job. All right, now that we've found the midpoint, we're going to go ahead and compare our number with the midpoint and round. 42 is less than 45, so we're actually going to round down to 40. All right, so that was example one, and now we're going to go ahead and do example number two. So for example number two, we have the number 75. We're going to follow the same three steps that we did for example one. So the first step is to underline the tenths place and establish the boundary numbers, which in this case is 70 and 80. Then we're going to establish the midpoint, which is 75. Uh-oh, my number and the midpoint is the same number. What are we going to do here? Well, besties, remember I told you when the midpoint is equal, when our number is equal to the midpoint, we're going to go ahead and give it that extra boost and round up. So 75 rounded to the nearest 10 is 80. Okay, besties, it is bonus time. So if you haven't already paused the video, make sure you pause it now so you can challenge yourself and figure this out on your own. Then you can unpause the video and check your work with me. So we have the number 187. And we're going to go ahead and do step one, which is to underline the tens place. In this example, it's going to be, uh, we're underlining the number eight. And then I'm going to establish the boundary number. So 180 and the next tens is 190. Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and establish the midpoint, which is 185. All right, now we're going to go ahead and compare our number to the midpoint. And our number 187 is greater than 185. So we're going to actually round up to 190. So 187 rounded to nearest 10 is 190. All right, math besties, thank you so much for learning with me today. Make sure to keep on practicing to make math easy peasy.